Welcome class. Today we are using lemon yellow, Mars orange, crimson red. We are also going to mix Mars black with Tallo blue. We're going to recreate, as best I can, the first ever photograph of the black hole. Except I'm going to use Mr. Pendulum to do it. So let's see how this works out. Okay, so my plan is to put in some my blue-black mixture, which I also put pearlizing medium into. Then, from there, um, I'm going to put in red, followed by orange, followed by yellow. And I'm probably going to put in a little white between the dark blue and the red. Maybe, maybe not. I'll put some a little white in there just to kind of separate things a little bit. So here we go. One thing to note, I did um, put some tape on the bottom of my pendulum to close it up. And you may notice my pendulum is just a tiny bit off center because I don't want the center of my black hole to be right on the corner of the four canvases. I don't know why, I just don't. So all I'm using There's a little bit of Floetrol in each color. And only the best natural spring water from the Winco down the street. And of course Spotify with the Brain Food playlist on shuffle. Here we go. I believe I also one thing to note is that I did not use any uh, silicone that's not in there so we'll see how this goes grab this guy I'm putting my finger under the tape just to be cautious because I don't want it to leak Pour some of this in here. I'm reserving some for the corners because I know that I'm not going to get the corners very well. And I know that I've got to carefully pour the red in so that it doesn't mix. There's some red. And I'm going to do this in a couple layers. Orange. I'm probably going to go orange, yellow, orange. And I know I just splashed on my canvas. That's not going to matter. And I'm going to do some orange and then I'll go back to red. And then the very last color will be some black or the blue or whatever you call it. Now this is a lot of paint. Should keep the pendulum swinging, but it is also going to take for freaking ever to dry. 
Notice I mixed a crap load of paint. That means that I will have a lot left over for later projects. Now, I just realized that I have enough paint in here to leak through the holes in the side of Mr. Pendulum's head. All right, so that shouldn't matter a whole lot. So I'm gonna take this away, peel the tape off, and let, let her go. Hopefully we get down to the orange before we get too close to the center. I see some starting to come through. This is looking nice. I kind of like these red drops that are showing through. Those are probably from the side holes. Now, when it gets into the center, I'm gonna have to be really quick in order to catch it before it interrupts the pattern. It's fading into the dark blue black very nicely. That's awesome. As I said before, this is a tribute to the black hole photograph. This is not meant to imitate the black hole photograph because it's not going to which might be fairly obvious I don't know looks like my buddy just about out of paint that's fine, I'm gonna go ahead and let him just continue and finish. Maybe that will fill in on its own and I won't have to pour anything in the center. I'd really much rather just let it do its thing and not interrupt. It's gonna look cool either way. One thing to remember, when you're doing a pendulum painting like this, always wear your clothes you don't really give a crap about because you're gonna get paint on them. Pendulum guy's done. Oh, 
Perfect. Slide my hand under there. Take them away. Undo the knot. And I'll go wash him out. But not before fixing the corners. Alright, got the two dog helpers out here with me. It's kind of bizarre, but they'll be fine. So for the corners, I'm gonna very gently leak my space blue. I'm kinda gonna call it space blue. Into the corners. And I can spread that a little bit with my finger. Being careful to not interrupt the outside edge very much. I'm going to let this stuff flow all together just the way it wants to. Obviously I'm getting the edges of the canvas as much as possible. Clockwise. Hopefully that pearlizing compound, medium rather, will give me some nice, nice effects on that blue. Actually starting to worry that I'm gonna run out of the blue. So just see what we can get it to do here. This is probably one of my biggest paintings attempted, but I think it's coming out okay. Now on the sides of the canvas, I like to just use my finger to pick up a little paint. And uh, dab it back onto the side where necessary.
Looks like, folks, I've got just enough blue to finish what I'm doing. So that's kind of rad. Finish spreading that around with my finger. I always keep a roll of paper towels handy when I'm doing this. Because I go through a lot of paper towels. Also go through a lot of paint. This is pretty thick. This is going to take forever and a day to dry. Trying to wipe some of the blue off of the canvas actually. After it has a chance to level a little bit. I don't want to make it too thin. too thin. See if I can salvage some. And there's a little bit left in there. I don't know if you can see it, but you might be able to hear the dogs giving the cats hell as the cats come through the garage trying to get out the garage door. Okay, now I want some stars. This is supposed to be out of space, right? How do I get some stars in here? Well, I'm gonna get a toothbrush and dip it in my white paint, which I haven't used here yet. And I'm just gonna just flicker out some white specks. That wasn't a splatter. You could have used a comb and just zipped it. Well, I thought the toothbrush was gonna. Yeah. Where did you get that toothbrush? Sink. Okay. It's your toothbrush. So I've taken to just dropping a couple huge pillows is Alright, I think I'm done splattering. And now I'm going to have my assistant. My faithful right. intrepid assistant. Come help me. There's probably paint on the ground. I oh, already got some paint on my foot from the splatter. And you got paint on your shirt from the splatter. Well, I mean, if it got on my foot, it needs to get on my shirt. Yeah. I don't have paint on my shirt. Yeah, All right. Um, so can you reach those two corners? And we're just going to very, very gently reach under and inside the wood frame and just kind of pull apart. They were really, really onto the. Uh, okay. Untouchable. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It didn't uh, affect yeah. the painting at all. Which is really cool. 
but I didn't realize they were like not on the cup that much. I got pulled apart just a little. Yeah, I, um, I wasn't sure either. Cool. But, yeah. paint all over yourself. Yeah. All right, you need paper towels, yeah? I mean, I could just wash them in the sink with really hot water. So the white is supposed to look like stars. Yeah. Actually, I could do some yellow splatters too. That would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna use the toothbrush. That was dumb. Yeah. Um. But I'm trying to figure out all the. I'm trying to think of all the ways we get splatters. Dog, what are you What are you following me for? You had it on like a string, and you just kind of on the string. Actually, I like. Watch this. Oh, neither. I'm gonna move away from that though. Really? Really? Yeah. Maybe for later then you uh, put some paint on a string, just a bunch of paint, and just. That way, it'll get straight off of the stream. Yeah. Well, that's what you're saying. Good for us to wait. So if you shake it and blow it, you get some good old white. It's also really cold when you do it like that. Yeah. So. Look at, look at that. Ooh. Okay, for everybody watching at home, you gonna torch it, put some piling onto, but I think it's gonna give me some really nice effects with that yellow and white that I splashed on there. So I'm not gonna do it in a lot of places, but it's gonna help me get rid of some air bubbles, kind of break up the harshness of some of these splatters. on the tarp, the more paint you're getting on your feet. So, who is it off the back door? Uh, I think that was corn. Oh, you can even snap it off? Oh, no. Um, the other night I heard a uh, dog chase our cats. So I think it was a, and, and I looked out the window and it was a pit bull, not on a leash. I think he ran into the cat door. Oh. What, the pit bull's in here? No, the pit bull didn't get in the garage, but he chased our cats and I think he hit the cat door and busted the thing out. I think I need some red splats. No, I got those inside. I love how the torch kind of breaks the paint up and allows it to lace. Is it soap? 
Huh? Your lace is so. Kind of. Go around the edge a little bit. And there you have it. It's almost like I didn't touch it. There is my oh, you can see the tribute the to the first ever black hole oh, yeah. image it recorded. Looks, it looks more blue right now, actually. It is. It's going to drive pretty dark, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Neat. There you have it. Now, to wait forever for this to drive. Do you see that? She knows she can go out this way now. Oh, oh she's oh. known all along. I hope she doesn't want me to let her out anymore and don't get real mad.